Hello everyone, it's Felicity here and in this video I'm going to talk about the general energy at play for those of you who have moon or ascendant in Sagittarius in April okay so this is the April tarot reading for those of you have, who have moon or ascendant rising sign in Sagittarius so uh, this is your uh, monthly card in for April um, so this describes a general energy at play it seems that for April uh, you will be guiding some secrets or treasure or is it may be that you have a lot of ideas or you have some creativity project going on but then you just do not have the motivation to uh, achieve your goals achieve to finish your projects so there seems that you are not willing to take a next step forward and uh, but you know that you have this treasure you have this passion within yourself mm. so this month you will need to learn about motivating yourself to accomplish your goals to achieve your goals and at the same time try to open up yourself to others it's very very uh, hard if you you always keep all the treasure all the ideas within yourself and uh, in the area of career so this is your career card it seems that maybe after a trip you feel tired and lack of energy of doing things and then of course you need to take a rest and motivate yourself again and uh, maybe in the career you feel that uh, you have passion to start a project to do things but then something happened that makes you uh, lack motivation to carry out this project to carry out this plan and um, in this situation, it's best to think about the reason why you're lacking this motivation. Is it because the lack of energy? Or is it because the lack of emotional support from others? And um, so uh, try to um, encourage yourself. Try to find a fuel to, to support you. Um, but I think that in this month, it, it is all about uh, turning inward and finding out the reasons of lacking motivation for this month. And uh, here is the family or marriage card for you in April. Uh, it seems that uh, you need to take a break from others or maybe uh, your family members have been uh, interacting with you through the the knowledge that they gain okay so uh, it seems that your family members trying to um, give you some wisdom to give you advice to give you some wise advice uh, on the matter of relationship or marriage and you may not be ready you may not be ready to take the advice yet but it's good if you uh, just try to listen and relax and see how the advice suggestions help you and uh, it is a good time to to uh, form a re really relaxing family gathering as well to get in touch with your inner child to get in touch with uh, some joy so uh, it's a good time to organize some family gatherings and this is uh, the romantic card for you it seems that in April there are a lot of uh, fated events happen in your life and especially in the area of career love and also marriage or family and uh, because the universe wants you to solve all the 
karmic relationships or uh, to learn about things. So uh, some events have been scheduled into your life to teach you lesson in order for you to gain more wisdom. And uh, so uh, it seems that in the area of love, you are blessed by Lady Fate as well as Cupid as well. And you may rekindle love from a past loved one or you discover something uh, within uh, yourself or you discover that someone has been admiring you for some time and in April suddenly uh, he or she just uh, tell you how she or he feel about you so um, but it also it can also mean that there's a karmic relationship going on in April so try to open your heart to get the knowledge and wisdom from the universe and see how you can solve all the lessons to learn all the lessons from all those relationships and I hope you enjoyed this reading and for personal reading please uh, visit my website by clicking the link below in the description box thank you very much see you next month